All right, the next thing we're going to check is his pesticide containers to see if they're properly identified. This particular container was properly identified. It has the manufacturer's original labeling. And that's very good to have the original labeling on a container. Most containers come with the original labels that have all the required information that's required by the state and EPA. This particular container did not have a label at all. And so I'm talking to the technician explaining to him that this needs to be labeled. And it needs to be properly labeled with all the information that's required by the state and EPA. And it's simple as putting a tag on a container like this. You can even make a copy of the original label and add the company's name, address, and phone number and put that onto the container as well. We also looked at this truck and there was another container of pesticide that was pre-mixed that didn't have a tag on it as well. So this thing needs to be properly identified with a tag or a label. Now, it's very simple to make a tag with the required information, which is the name, address, and phone number of the pest control company, the product name and as it's diluted, the signal word, the active ingredients, and the EPA registration number. That's what should be on a tag or label and it needs to be affixed to the container.